Okay, on this video I'd like to show you how to um, export your tempo information or exchange tempo information with other collaborators you're working on the music. Um, I recently had to do this and it took a little while for me to figure this out so um, I thought I'll make a recording of it and I'll, if in the future if we need to show other people how to do it then I now know how to show it to other people. So um, here I just wrote a song here, a short song, and then um, change the tempo on it, uh, you know, just to demonstrate the point. So let's just listen to the track a little bit. So you can see that uh, tempo changes from 85 to 68, back to 79, 63, and so forth. So I have just uh, manually edited this tempo um, like this, you know, and then changed the tempo. Um, so you can do this with your uh, tempo mapping, a bunch of other different ways, but the tempo information is now stored in your logic. Okay. Now what happens though is the uh, problem start arising when uh, you want to exchange this with other people. Um, now one of the things that we typically do is that you record a track and you would export this into a MIDI file so you know go to file menu and export and selection as MIDI file okay and um, save the file I'm gonna resave what I've done already but anyway this file saved okay so that's really great you know it's um you saved it okay so but typically what will happen is this okay so here's a new project okay and then you say okay I'm gonna import the MIDI uh, information in here so say okay file import okay and then uh, import it here we go okay and import is perfectly fine okay um, but what happens is that um, uh, by the way this just split it out the uh, control and the pedals and then uh, you know actual keys in here but um, now if you look at global tracks again see the tempo is back to 120 I mean this is not very good you know um, so what you can do a couple of things you can do all right is to um, not to do it this way um, but actually you can um, open just open instead of import okay and then go and import this particular file open okay now do a new project here okay so what it's doing right now is that I'm going to copy, close, that, close that what's doing is that um, it's creating the general MIDI project so it actually takes a little bit of time but do not miss dismay okay uh, now you do the global tracks here you can see that tempo change is definitely there and um, you know um, you can probably play it Let, let's see if you can play that or not uh, it might not sound good on your but anyway so tempo this preserve here so what I did was did the, the uh, open of the project now um, but what are you gonna do about you just want a tempo information into your project well um, another way to do it is actually so let me close this okay don't save it all right okay so suppose you have a, some brand new completely brand new project yeah you just want to get the tempo information in here right so what I do is to empty project or create an empty project okay so we have a project here okay and um, you have another project uh, where did it? okay oh here you go you still have it okay here you go okay so we have this tempo um, with this particular project the tempo now what you need to do is this okay select go to this tempo tab that's under list okay this tempo tab and then select all of them and then copy it okay that's easy right okay now you have a brand new project all right and empty project here okay so I'm going to just do something quickly here All right okay now go back to the uh, list here tempo okay S 
then you just paste in here all right okay so now the tempo is now completely imported and global tracks okay so you can see the tempo change here all right so you can um, copy the tempo from another project or um, if it was just MIDI file you have received it you exactly do the same thing I did now open the MIDI file not as import okay open the MIDI file okay and then you can do the same thing um, this will import the tempo change information okay go to the global tracks uh, you can see the tempo is there go to list here we go tempo see you have it so you can again select all and then copy it and then paste it to another project to preserve the tempo so that's it um, now another uh, for, for the MIDI part actually um, now another way of doing it actually is to kind of a little surprising to you but you can actually um, you have something like this then you could um, export um, region as audio file and um, if you save this as a um, WAVE or AIFF or CAF probably too um, it actually um, saves the um, tempo information yeah so um, that's another way of doing it now it's gonna be audio so you know um, MIDI information is lost but um, if you somebody was open it your uh, wave file the tempo and including if you put the markers in there that's gonna go in there too so that's kinda handy right so um, think about that one and um, anyway so I'm gonna conclude this video so thank you for watching and I will um, hope to see you again soon